Hey, Mike with Rural Pest Control here. And do you have bed bugs? And do you feel like maybe using an over-the-counter pest control method is just as good as hiring a pest control service? Well, today's video will actually be doing a product test and review of Hotshot for bed bugs and fleas to see if just an over-the-counter pest control product you can get is just as good as hiring a pest control service and how well it works. So stay tuned. Today, we were lucky enough to find a nice, very active bed bug who appears to have had a blood mill relatively recently. So we want to test out an over-the-counter product and see how it works. We've got Hot Shot, which states that it's for bed bugs, fleas, and various other things. Um, reading the label says that it can be applied to baseboards, cracks and crevices, etc. So it doesn't have to be applied to live bugs to work. So what we want to test is how it will work in a residual setting. So we're going to apply it to this Tupperware container and then leave the bed bug in there and see how long it takes for the bed bug to die. So. Some nice liberal coating. We'll give some time for that to dry and then we'll be placing the bed bug in there. Okay, so we have our hot shot applied. It has had a chance to dry. This Tupperware is going to give the product a little bit of an extra boost because Tupperware is a non-porous surface, so applying to bed frames that are including wood or baseboards that, that are wood, um, a lot of that product is going to get absorbed into the pores of the wood and won't be as readily available to contact the bug, but this will give us a good idea anyway of how it works so we're going to turn our bed bug loose We go so we will give it some time to interact with the product and see how it goes we'll check back in tomorrow this bed bug does seem to be doing its best to find a way away from the product so I think it is evident that uh, the product is active and doing something to him um, as far as uh, distinguishing between male and female, the male bed bug has a pointier back end, which you can see here it comes to a point. The female is much more rounded and smooth. So uh, typically you're gonna see the females uh, more likely to end up in random places because of the reproductive process of traumatic inception, which cause them to just get stabbed in the abdomen and if they hang around too many males for too long they can get stabbed to death so oftentimes they'll hightail it out of a population center and find somewhere else to be so this one happened to be a male but uh yeah we'll see how things go it is also important to note on the hot shot it does have a pretty strong odor so you want to make sure that uh, pets kids that type of thing are out of the way out of the rooms that are being treated and you'll want to allow them plenty of time to air out afterwards so that you're not having to smell that or breathe in those fumes now here we are one day later a little over 24 hours on our bed bug um, it appears that it tried to crawl up the side and fell over on its back but you can see that uh, it's definitely still alive and Still has plenty of life on it. And this has had product on its legs, on its back. And basically had continued contact with the product for over a day. Uh, we sprayed down the entire container so no part of it is safe zone for it. So it's had complete contact there and still has plenty of life so we'll give it another day 
check in on it, see how it's doing. The bed bug has become fairly active, so I thought it would be good just to give a little view of how they move and run around a little bit. Uh, they are pretty good climbers, although on slick, non-porous surfaces, they tend to not be able to move well, so a lot of people will use some pitfall traps around bed posts, um, things that'll isolate the bed and allow them to keep that population from moving. Doesn't necessarily stop them from dropping off of other things uh, like a ceiling fan or a just crawling up the ceiling, but it does make it a lot more difficult for them to move. One of the things that makes these bed bugs so resilient is they have a thick waxy coating on them that helps protect them from many chemicals trying to infiltrate their body and get right in there. Here we are on day two with the bed bug. Looks like once again he's climbed up and fallen over onto his back um, trying to escape. You'll notice that he looks like he is completely dead and motionless there. This is one of the reasons why bed bugs are difficult to kill is they will spend a lot of their time when they're at rest just completely at rest, motionless, just waiting until their next opportunity to feed. They're very efficient animals and pretty much only move when they need to. So in this situation, when you're talking about products needing to get worked into the waxy coating or into their exoskeleton, the more time they spend motionless, uh, the less likely it is for that product to actually get in and affect the nervous system like it needs to. So we're going to see here as we give him a little bump that he's plenty alive and has a lot of life in those legs and they're really ready to move whenever stimulated. So plenty of life left in there. That's two days. Uh, one of the other interesting things to note here is unlike a lot of the experiments we do where we just get some product on the insect in question and let it go for a little bit. In this situation, we've got the bed bug in constant contact with the product. It's been applied to the entire inside of the container in a residual manner, and it is constantly in contact, isn't able to escape like it normally would be able to in regular situations. Well, we're at day four, and it has appeared that he's been less lively than in days past so it seems the product is doing something but as you can see still plenty of free will moving of the legs when agitated um, just takes a little bit more stimulus to cause a reaction so between being in a, an uncomfortable area probably starting to dry out not having a blood mill and being in constant contact with the product for four days it is starting to take its toll but this is definitely um, showing the longevity and durability of these bugs. Um, hard to see in the video, but you can see the amount of blood that is inside the bed bug here. I'll try and get a good shot of it. it has diminished. It's down to a little bit less than it was before, so um, definitely going to be empty here in a day or two more if he continues living. Here we are on day five. You can see him moving just a little bit. Um, we'll get a little more motion with some stimulus there. And we'll let it go another day and see how he does. Obviously slowing down a little bit. Not in great shape, but again, five days direct contact with the product the entire time. And still alive here we are on day six i was just checking them out a few minutes ago and there's still a little bit of life in him and you can see with a little bit of stimulus there's some wiggling of legs but yeah even enough to to grab hold and climb up the screw i was thinking he's or the uh the threads there i was thinking he was a little bit closer to death but still plenty of life in there so we will go for another day, see what happens. Here we are on day seven with the bed bug. 
And I don't know if you can see real well, but he has a little bit of life in him. Um, just a second ago, tapping him, he was moving his leg, but we're we're getting quite close to the end on this. So um, I did see a little bit of movement, but for the most part, we are down to a non-reactive bug. He's not grabbing hold like he did before, but you can see that little leg twitching. So I'm guessing we're down to just a day or two left on there. So we'll check in tomorrow and see if we're there. All right, here we are after eight days. And it appears that we are finally without life. So that is the timeline you're looking at with direct contact with hot shot to be able to kill a bed bug. That was eight days of complete direct contact with the product. So obviously in a field situation where the bed bugs are just gonna be coming across the product from time to time, um, it is gonna be a little bit different and probably gonna take quite a bit more time and during that period they're most likely still going to be able to um, continue normal function and uh, continue reproduction so that is something that you're gonna have to take into account when selecting uh, products and the process for eliminating these well as you can see uh, it took uh, over eight days to get rid of that bed bug in that confined controlled situation where in reality in your home wherever there might be bed bugs it's going to be even harder to kill in that sense where it's going to be harder to get them on the product harder to target them specifically so overall we find that when you try and use over-the-counter pest control products it's nowhere near as effective as hiring a pest control service to specifically treat for the pest issue that you have at hand especially when it comes to bed bugs they're incredibly hardy creatures and hard to get rid of so we'll use a combination of different products higher quality that have a higher residual effect and that can be specifically targeted towards the bed bug and pest issues that you have in your home so again in most cases uh, trying to tackle pest problems especially bed bugs on your own with simply over-the-counter products like this hot shot product don't really do very well. So again, for that reason, we really recommend reaching out to a pest control service for specific pest issues, especially tough to get pests like bed bugs to have your home treated to get faster results and better results that last longer and can keep your family safe from pests. So again, hopefully you got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share and definitely subscribe to our channel to get the latest pest control tips and tricks to keep your home pest free. And then also, if you do have bed bugs or other specific pest issues, feel free to reach out to us over at rovepestcontrol.com. And also, as a first-time customer with us, you can head to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and enter your information there to get $50 off your first service with us. So if you have specific pest issues like bed bugs or anything in between, reach out to us at rovepestcontrol.com. And then once again, to get that great discount, head on over to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off. But thanks again for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.